hi everybody welcome back to my channel my name is desiree and i do all things budgeting from cash stuffing to budget check-ins first i wanted to let you all know that this pop-up yeah i just did it i canceled my peacock account where i was paying um four dollars and 99 cents a month to get this deal for a year so you don't have long if you don't have peacock and need to change some things up or won't peacock definitely check this out so that's one thing two i finally got my savings accounts together so if you all know or if you don't know rather better yet if you're new to my channel welcome again my name is desiree Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to turn the notification bell on. That way you would be notified anytime I upload a new video. Back to what I was saying. So, as you know, I've been trying to figure out how many accounts I want as far as sinking and savings. But I noticed that I don't want a lot of accounts. I don't want a lot of accounts at all. So, these are what I have now. As you can see, I took some away, like my birthday. And remember, my birthday had the $270 in Alley and $10 in cash. So, I moved it over, made some adjustments, and that money was mostly from last year. So, with that being said, these are my new accounts and I will use them going forward unless I need to change something. I don't think I'm going to have to, you know, change anything, move anything around because these accounts are pretty much solid. So, that's that on the accounts. I do have two other Happy Mail um, giveaways that coming in the mail once i get those i will do a happy mail video showing everything i got guys i can't believe i won so many giveaways i'm actually shocked like wow lastly and this doesn't have anything to do with budgeting at all but i finally 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 finished an entire tube of lip balm so now i'm out of lip balm i haven't bought any yet so let me know down below what you guys are using i need something to keep everything moisturized i don't need any chap lips especially with it being you know a thousand degrees here in tennessee so that's that and also in my last video at least i think it was my last video what i'm trying to do now with savings is once i have cash to save i want to save it all until the end of the month and then at the end of the month i want to go ahead and stuff it and i got this from chris over at budgeting just because it's kind of a spinoff of what she's doing but I want to see how much cash I can save to stuff for the end of the month. Let's go ahead and get started with this video. What I wanted to do, I did overtime. So what I wanted to do is go ahead and close out of my first paycheck budget. And the bear is saved. So after using some uh e6000 glue the bear is saved now i still don't know where the puff is at but at least the bear is saved right so let's get started and i have been keeping up with almost everything except for my bills because i know that they are paid so tasha over at mind your money Thank you. If it wasn't for your tracking expenses videos, I probably wouldn't have started this at all. But I think I got it somewhat under control and I will be able to continue doing it. So when it comes to the spending, I got paid on the 31st, I think. <laughs> Whatever that day was. So 
I spent $31 at Walmart. I had $209 left for spending on the 31st. Again, I spent, well, actually, it's an Amazon order. I got Jasmine some things. I ordered her or wanted to try these out. No, this is not sponsored at all, but I wanted to try these out to see if they would help her. So I ordered those. Which is why you see it highlighted in this reddish color. I took the money from the cash that I did set aside for savings. Because it wasn't needed for me to take it from anywhere else but that. On the second, I got gas. Well, gas is for Uber rides and gas. So, Uber ride. Actually, two Uber rides on the second and the third. For seventeen twenty six, which did charge to my Discover, and this is just letting me know that I put twenty dollars in and got two dollars back for change, with eighty two dollars left for gas. On the third, I did not have to do this, but I did. I should have saved money for fast food, but I did not, and still ended up getting fast food. So, on the third, we went to Arby's. $15 in cash rounded up and it was $153 left for spending on the 5th actually got gas and that was $36 had $46 left for cash on the 5th went spending at Walmart for two different transactions i actually left walmart and forgot potatoes and something else i needed so i went back all together that was 57 dollars and 95 cents so 58 bucks ended up with 95 dollars left next on the eighth i took the fun money that i had set aside which we didn't do anything or go anywhere so we ended up with chick-fil-a and I also took $6 from the cash that I had to stuff. So that's fine. And this is, yeah, this is written all wrong. So don't, don't be like, what, what is this? So I written some out, but I ended up canceling this order from Amazon for a USB hub I need. And I still haven't reordered one, but that's okay. And down here, June the 6th is for spending at multiple places, which equals up to $38.05. Do, 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 $45 left. On the 7th, I just wrote spending had $45 left. Gas had $43 left. I did put where I paid my Capital One bill. That's not due until next month, but I did go ahead and pay it for $384.45. On the 8th, I did a grocery pickup from Walmart. It was $48.21 minus $45 from spending, meaning that I was over. And I got that $3 from gas, which I guess it leaves me in the negative, but I don't think I was in the negative. So I just wrote that gas has $43. Next... A Uber ride for nine twelve on the ninth. On the ninth, I also went to Taco Bell, spent thirteen dollars and forty one cent. I also turned around and went to Walmart, spent thirty eight dollars and ninety nine cent. I needed some things for the chicken wing bowl. I will put a picture in here. And guys, it was whew, if you haven't did a chicken wing bowl. You need to do it. I didn't say boil chicken wings. I said do a chicken wing boil. So you pretty much take the stuff that you would cook with your seafood. And typically you would use chicken versus crawfish or other seafood. So chicken, potatoes, sausages, corn, all of that. And last, the last one is from yesterday uber charge eight dollars and 24 cent and these are for well these are for two days and this one is for one day with uber 
so it totals up to $17 so I didn't write the other one down I just noticed that but this actually I did is up here so nine twelve and eight dollars and twenty four cent equaled up to seventeen dollars and thirty six cents which I put twenty dollars in my discover envelope and got two dollars out and that's it for tracking I haven't spent anything else I did add lines to this here and just put date, where, how, fun, amount, and I get to check mark when I do put the money back into the envelope. So that's my spending as of today, which is June the 11th. You guys may see this video later on today, if not on Monday. I still would need to edit it, of course. Of course, I can upload it like it is, which is totally fine with me because y'all know I, I have done that before. So, if we take a look at the budget, $1,302.05. All of these bills either got paid or is sitting in my checking account. And when it comes to spending, I have a lot of scratch outs because y'all know I can't math right when it comes to negative numbers. So that's why it's like that. But spending started off with 240 and I'm going to say I spent 240 You will see where the difference is down here. For fun, I actually spent that whole 20 Gas, I spent 54 Over budget, $3.00. Total of three seventeen with two fifty three left for vacation. I did send forty dollars to vacation with cash and online, and then we have another edit out where forty minus two fifty three equal two thirteen for stuff it. I did set aside one seventy, but since I used some of the cash. Since I used some of the cash because I did buy those headphones and I bought Jasmine, these allergy medicines and whatnot, I now have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 5, 10, 15, 20 dollars. I also have 20 dollars in the bank as well, but I haven't gotten it out. It's just sitting there. I also have... $10 that I did just send over to, I believe I sent it to vacation again, or even car, I don't remember, but I have that amount left, so this, so stuff it will stay the same until the end of the month, and of course you all know for rollover, which is gas, I still have the 20... 20, 40, 1, 2, 3... And that would go back into my wallet, which in my wallet, I don't really have a place for gas because I supposed to left this money in the bank. So I'm just going to put it pretty much anywhere. And this wallet is from Ashley over at Uni. Okay, I was just going to say her channel name all wrong, but Pink Uni Budgets. And this is what everything looks like, which it didn't focus let's see if it'll focus now which it did so that's it for this video i have 43 dollars left i don't need any gas so i'm hoping to be able to just save this cash if so you will hear about it in my next video also guys i need you to help elba she's trying to get her watch hours up and I ran one of her playlists last night. I'm also going to run the rest of them today once I have time to do so. So have a great day. Bye.